All right, Don. You've beaten two of them. Just three more, we could be done here. Remember I told you about that guy we were chasing? It didn't end there, Mark. It didn't end with them shooting into the rubble. I'm here for you, Don. You can tell me what happened. The medics pulled him out. He was covered in dust and bits of broken brick, bleeding from bullet holes and cuts. He didn't say a word. They patched him up as best as they could, but they didn't want to save him. They wanted to interrogate him. He didn't cooperate, never said a word. He knelt down, defiant, angry, and I just stood there. I did nothing. Well then, you know what it means not to take action. To act now. Let's do this. I know I need to do it. But it's hard, Mark. It's hard. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't we figure out before that I can add copies? Wait. Hold on. So, the host is really good. Can I... I... really? Only two combats of the same type may enter the fray. Okay. Well, that's going to change things a lot. I should spam these slots with two of each thing that's semi-decent. What is semi-decent? I know those are pretty good. I'm not sure about the others. I don't know. If their stats are decent, then they're probably decent at fighting. Safe bet. Anything's better than the Parktown Prawn. Sorry, Prawn. I love you. The big man. Big man did good damage. Their stats aren't great, though. I think we all need a little big man in our life, though. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't look at the enemy roster again? Oh well, what does it matter? Is it really going to change what I choose? Cleansing fire sucks. Loving stroke. Sexual. But pretty good. There we go. Laser cannon as always. Pulse cannon's really good, so I think I want to use it every turn. Flux pulse. Flux pulse sucks, but the pimp hand cannon is also... It's, it's actually amazing. That's a really good attack. On average, each turn I will do four and a half plus two, six and a half per turn. And if I wait, I have to wait three turns to do 10 damage with the laser. I think it is much better to do the pimp hand cannon and pulse cannon every turn instead of waiting for the huge laser. You are the tiniest. Just one health left. Pulse cannon, I think it'd be best thing to go with. Who next? You have 15 hit points in total. You also have 15. 
Uh, oh, however, you are the same person as me, and I am very good, so I want to kill you first. Oh, no, 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 that's the terrible one. Yeah, this is kind of an amazing combination. I definitely want two of each of these. The one with the flag on the back and the one with the, well, the flay. The host and Maloko. Multiple of Maloko, right? Yeah, this one's already hurt. I don't know, let's go with that. And a host. And another host. Jacob, you are going to regret this. If I have two hosts, I could do two pulse cannons. What's the average damage on that? The average damage on this is... 4. I know it's got an 89% accuracy, so that changes it a little bit, but... Let's ignore that. Assume it's 100% accuracy. 4. Uh, like... 5.5, I guess? 5.5 damage per turn. Whereas, if I do this... Or, um... This and this, we got... Actually, that would extra suck, because... Both of these would use up one, and then we'd have one left over. But, I mean, we would just bank that for later. Yeah, I don't know. Let's... Eh, let's try it. I'll use the two hosts and do their small attack. And bank the third point. I remember that attack, it's really good. Yeah, five damage. And now this time we can do two pulse cannons. And the pimp hand cannon. Mm. It's only a one out of three chance we're gonna kill them with that attack, whereas this is has an almost 100% chance. Uh, yeah. Let's get rid of him. Oh no, what? Shit. Total accident. Oops. Six damage. Uh, this has a possibility of killing them, so I'm not going to do the small attack. I'm going to do the big one, just in case it does kill them. And then I could have used it on the big guy. The small attack, but instead we'll use it to pick them off. They actually might still not die. Ah, yes! This one ends soon. Whoa. That was a cool attack. Oh, 
Oh, no. That's bad. We'll be fine, but... I don't know, maybe we'll buff up our defense. Get five defense there, do a little attack. How much damage do they do? Two. Yeah, I mean, if only doing two damage. Let's keep buffing. Up to seven. How much damage does that do? Just one. Looked nasty, but wasn't nasty at all. If I increase my defense, I'm going to be wasting one of those hit points, because I'll max out. So I guess let's not do that yet. Now I can do it. Oh, we are undefeatable. <laughs> Two of these against one of theirs. Two and three chance they're going to die. Uh, hmm. Haven't seen them before. Boomba. I guess it's not the boss. I guess there's only one boss, but I don't know. It sort of looks like a boss. I don't think it is, though. It doesn't have nearly as many stats as the Priest of Tribulation. Anyway, the Priest of Tribulation is the person we challenged at the end, so I don't think it really makes sense for there to be a second Priest of Tribulation, and it isn't even a Priest of Tribulation. In other words, not a boss. Yeah, let's do the hosts. If we're going up against one, we should just be able to buff ourselves to oblivion, I guess. And I don't know. I'll go with the decoy, big man. Sorry, big man. Big man, big target. Take it. You pay for a bush cup. What can you do? Oh, right, you have that. It's an incredibly good attack. Ridiculously good. Yeah, their stats are, like, really mediocre, but... For one AP to do three to five damage, basically guarantee that is so fucking good. And this too. Damn. Uh, not worth it though. It increases the max damage by one from the mechanical blixim, but the accuracy is much less. I'm gonna bank the AP. You're not gonna do anything? Dude, you're gonna die before you can do anything. Well, let's increase our defense then. So these are all maxed out for the next fight. Alright, against the Priest of Tribulation. Huh. For the other fight... Oh, wait a second. Oh, whatever you... Whatever I buffed for their defense didn't stick. That blows. So here's the thing. Okay, if I do a couple big men, they're going to be able to do a shit ton of damage. But the problem is... Is that Tribulationist does so much damage with their attacks that I need... I need my people to be able to withstand a couple attacks. And they might only withstand one, maybe two. I don't know. We got more tries, right? Like, we have tons we can use. They'll keep whatever damage we give them. Let's take an Optio Lifter in to keep us in the game because they have so many stats. But we're going to do a shitload of damage with our big men. 
Jacob, you are going to regret this. You know, the metal slug gun is not quite as good as this attack, but it's not really that much worse. I think it's worth using. And yeah, we're gonna get shit tons of damage in in the early game, but then when they do an attack, if it's a big AoE, it might take both the big men out. Attacking just them? Oh, buddy. Yeah, that did 10 damage. So if it kill, if it hit any of the big men, it would have killed them in one hit. Anyway, you're dead. This mini game is actually kind of fun now that I actually understand it. Three out of five down. You... You want to make a deal? A deal that stays between us? You aren't getting out of being flattened in this fight. My dear sister is never going to give up that mask. I have seen her flay a man alive for merely breathing on her. She is the only one of us still in her original body. Her first. It is her pride and joy. She keeps us here, gloating, proud, covered in the dirt and blood and old skin of past victories. I want that body to be her last. You want me to murder her? Your own sister? That would not work. She would merely be reborn in Babel. However, if someone in Babel were to sever the link between the memory pool and the spinster, then her death would be irreversible. Why are you doing this to your own blood, your own family? She... she removed us from the Holy Temple and installed herself as the god of this world. With her gone, we can do as we please. We can compete in the arena as equals to the challengers. I do not wish for immortality any longer. The sweetness of a fruit is only valuable because it is fleeting. And we cannot fake our clash. It must be real, or she will suspect foul play. Good luck to you, and your brother. Give me a good death. So it doesn't, like, I still should defeat Spinacope right now. It's not going to make any difference, but when I go to fight them... If I do it now, they'll just come back. If I disconnect them in Babel, they won't come back. I mean, I guess I don't want them to come back, so I should do that, right? I'm really curious what would happen here if I didn't do that. I'm going to test out both ways. But I should also decide on what I want to be the canon way, the way I'm going to stick with. Hmm... The way I'm going to stick with is severing their connection. So they permanently die. They're obviously not a good person. They just stay here forever. Just killing clones. That's fucked up. 
clones that are real. I mean, the others do too, but... Hey, I'll take out one. Take out the biggest one. Maybe the rest will find something else to do. I don't know. They just told me that they still want to fight in the arena. They just want it to mean more, so I guess they're not going to find something else to do, but... Nonetheless, that's the one I'm officially going to go with, is disconnecting them. Hmm. But for now, I might as well fight Spinnacope before I do any disconnecting. We have a plan now. We can bring these things down. But at what cost, Marky? I feel like I'm losing myself here. I'm here for you. We're going to get through this together. You're a good man, Mark. You might not always show it. You are. I just keep seeing that guy's face. Caked in dust and blood. They interrogated him while putting an IV drip into his arm. I remember he was looking around and he looked right at me. And I saw he was trying not to cry. The CO lost his temper, shot him right there. The CO was a good man, but after everything they put us through, takes that goodness away. Okay, let's do this. I can do this. They have a Mafuda. The cases. Witness. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, double hosts. Double big men. Uh, double malocos. Steel lifters are good, just as huge damage sinks. And their attacks are decent, I guess. I don't know, who else is good? And Yoko? Nyoka? I have no idea. I remember the burner being pretty bad. What an IX drone? Oh, the stats are terrible. Can I get three big men? No. <laughs> eh, whatever, just... whatever. For the first fight, should I do double flays? Double big men? Let's do a couple big men. Fill in the bigness. Mm. And a host. Remember, Spanakop, you wanted this! You dodged it? That's a 99% accuracy. Huh. Yeah, should I bank or should I use the pulse cannon? 1 to 3 damage compared to 3 to 5. It's probably not even worth using. I think I should just bank it. Damn, 7? I could use their metal slug guns, which are pretty good. So either that or like save up for the aerial laser cannon. Canoon, sorry. Not worth it. Saving up for increased defense doesn't make sense. I already have enough to use it and I can't because I'm maxed. Sorry, big doggy.
Hm. God, I love these big boys. I don't usually like boys, but these ones are alright. You got so lucky that they didn't- oh. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, they got really lucky they didn't die. They had three hit points, but they only got damaged one. Big boy got a little bit smaller. <laughs> All right, my big boys are hurt, or at least one of them is. The other one's fine, right? Where are my big boys? Oh, right, the other one died, so this is the only one left. Uh, but yeah, they're totally unharmed. Big boy. Host. Hmm. I don't know, Inyoka? I don't know if I've ever used him before. Let's see what they can do. Remember, Spanakop, you wanted this! Look at this! Kungo, they're just holding a huge tree stump with, like, spikes on it. Pike swing, tree stump, pulverizer. Christ. Um, so this is in Yoka. What can they do? Boomstick blunderbuss. That sucks. That's awful. Bloodlust. Uh, compared to Big Boy, it's bad, but if we take Big Boy out of the equation, that's not bad. Two to seven for four. This takes one, does one to three. I mean, this is better. Let's use Big Boy while we got him. Ooh. You do not have much health at all. They might be a glass cannon, or maybe they just suck. Gonna bank the point. Oh, actually, I should have attacked the other one. I think the other one has less health. Not that big of a difference, I think. No, actually, this one might actually have less health. Why would you ever want to use Cleansing Fire? Bloodlust does more damage and takes less AP. Why does this exist? This isn't like, it's not Pokemon. There aren't types, there aren't weaknesses and anything like that. It's just damage. Stuff does damage and it does that damage. It's very simple. I'm just trying to think if I want to 
Five, six, seven. Oh, actually, we're hurt enough that we can increase defense. Yeah, big boy. You're dead. Splat. So nasty. When they rub against the ground, they just like drip fluid all over it. It's like sewer water. This has a 1 in 3 chance of killing them. and a big boy? How's my... Uh, my big boy's doing pretty bad. They got six hit points. They do so much damage, though. Remember, Spider-Man. You wanted this. Possible for the pulse cannon to kill them, so I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> well, you're dead. Big boy. Oh, mm. oh right, we're doing the tribulationist. So they tend to do 10 damage for the first big hit. I guess the hosts will be okay. Yeah, hosts and big boy. Remember, Spanakoma, you wanted this. Gotta squeeze as much damage out of big boy while we can. Goodbye, big boy. Okay, now is it worth saving up for the aerial laser cannon? 
10 damage. This is going to do an average of, I don't know, 6 times... 6 times 2, 2 times 6, 12. No, Pulse Cannon's going to do more damage on average. Two to three chance of killing him. <sighs> Please don't kill them both. Uh, okay, we're good. Push through, Don. We've almost. Now we should probably go to Babel, and now that we have the Ion Cannon, or at least we can call for help with the Ion Cannon, should be able to, I think, get our way in there and do whatever. So let's not talk with them yet. Well, actually, is there any reason not to? I mean, the fight is the only thing that matters, right? I just need to disconnect them before we kill them in the fight. Why not talk to them now? All of the others. All of those. Failures. I know why you're here, friends of Grave. I know what it is you want from me. You're the last to fight. Will you honor the deal your brothers made? Of course. A deal with one of us is a deal with all of us. I am the mother of this world. I would never betray my own kin. I am not afraid of bloodshed. I am not afraid of death. I fear nothing. I seeded this world with life. It is all mine to do with, as I see fit. This is not a fight you can win. My brother here is getting ready to drown you in your own blood. I am going to enjoy this. Let's head over to Babel. So like, uh, what are we supposed to do with this button exactly? No one has kicked us out instantly, which is surprising. They did last time. supposed to be able to press that button and blow something up at Babel, right? Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Button doesn't do anything right now. Hmm. You know, I just had a thought. I haven't been back to the Agnate Outpost in forever. Has my name been added to a record at some point? <laughs> So they'll let me in the gate. You remember this guard? Jerry. Oh. Sweet. Wait, they control them. I don't know what we actually need to do here. I love this, like, glitched out display.
Oh, we can just shut them down, can't we? Or we can also press this button. What? I can specifications copy to core cartridge. Core cartridge has no free space? I mean, it did if we copied it. Why is that still green? This cartridge implies that it incorporates a CPU and control instructions of an agnate. I've kind of lost the plot entirely on what the hell we're supposed to be doing. I wish there was some sort of a quest loggy type thing. I don't understand. That button does nothing? Okay, I'm looking over some old stuff trying to figure out what to do. Don't we need to do things with the three array arms? And these are both glowing green. Ah, oh. all of the parts go here. We need to get out of here. Well, we got them all. Are there more? Why is it still glowing? That has me concerned. Enable array control pylon. Oh, that's what I needed to do the thing we were just doing. That's really lucky. I had no idea there was a connection. Is active. Activation has been passed to control pylon. Yeah, there's still green here, but I can't actually interact with it. I think they just forgot to remove that. Mission accomplished. We... We did it. We actually did it. We did do it, Pooch. All of us. All of us. Yes. We are a squad. A team. Are we more than a team, Pooch? We are a pack. When I saw you and your brother on the Penrose, you were just intruders. I was afraid to come out of the dark. Afraid to confront you. But now, now you are my home. When I'm with you, I'm not afraid. I love you, Mark. And you, Don. My pack. Aww. That was so sweet. Achievement, we are a pack. So, now we should actually be able to do something here. So, the 
tears open. I hope it's okay to just leave it open. Because there's a lot of other stuff I still want to do. <laughs> the core cartridge still has no free space. So this is still not... Yeah. Hmm. I don't understand what's up with that. Oh, we can talk with them now. Loading aggressive stance protocol. Leave the race like elsewhere, or suffer disintegration. Can you tell me what's going on? Urgent message from command. A ray has been activated. ERD forming at latitude, minus 34.04, longitude, 18.22, altitude, 6,000 meters. Bay Bill lockdown initiated. Downloading override orders from the Ascendancy. New orders. Eliminate intruders. Protect Bay Bill. Marillion, prepare to die. Fatal error. Memory full. Purging. What was I saying? Entering defrag mode. Ten hours until memory defragmentation is complete. Shutting down. <laughs> Heard a Windows sound. Okay, does that change anything? Court cartridge still has no free space, I guess because Jerry's in there? I feel bad, but I don't remember who Jerry is. I'm sorry, who's Jerry? I remember we got that cartridge, but I don't remember from where or why. Okay. I don't know, maybe this is a quest that we could have done if we had sided with different people or something like that. I just went through every zone, looking if there were any green marks on any locations, and there weren't. Let's see if we can get into Babel and maybe use the laser now that we've activated the array arms. Ah, oh, yes! Button's ready to go. Quick save before I do this. I wonder what? We're locked and loaded, yeah. He goes nothing. Do it. We're in Babel. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that we have no signal, and the way this feels, this feels like we've put ourselves in endgame and there's no going back. Which makes me think, like, about severing the connection at Babel so that the queen or whatever? I don't know, one of the, one of the people at the arena. The last one... Um, so that they won't come back. Are, are we supposed to kill them first and then sever the connection? Seems a bit weird. Thought we were supposed to sever it first and then kill them, but it feels like we can't go back. Alright, I did a little bit of research on a walkthrough, trying to figure out what was going on. Um, it sounds like the reason for fighting the last, I and mean, getting the Mask of Nevergorses and fighting that last person, like the point of that, the quest of that, is to then give the mask to Graves and get Red Mercury. 
But the thing is, we already have red mercury, so what would be the point of that? I, I'm, I want to do it just to see what will happen. But yeah, it's certainly something we don't have to do. Also, I loaded the save game from right before we shot down the laser, so this is after turning on the array pylons and all that stuff. And I don't have permission to land back at the arena anymore. For some reason. So, I'm going to end this episode here, and then when I come back, I'm going to split it into two different pathways. The first pathway we're going to take is loading my save game for when I was still in the throne room, and actually just go right then and there to fight the last person. And just see what happens with the whole mask and red mercury that we already have. Uh, so I'll do that and follow that storyline and just see where it goes. And because I don't want to repeat everything I just did, I'll probably reload back from before I just did the laser. And we'll continue from there. <laughs>